We live in an age of wonders. Machines are learning, thinking almost. We call this artificial intelligence, AI. It's like a new kind of mind. AI helps us in many ways. It can drive cars, diagnose diseases. But a big question looms large. Can these thinking machines be truly fair? AI systems learn from data we give them. But what if that data is already unfair? Could AI learn our human prejudices? AI ethics are like a moral compass, guiding how we build and use AI. The goal is to make AI beneficial, to ensure it helps, not harms, humanity. Imagine AI deciding who gets a loan, or who is a suspect in a crime. These decisions must be just. How does an AI learn, you ask? It's not magic, though it seems so. AI learns from vast amounts of data. We call this training data. Think of it like a student's textbooks. The AI studies this data. It finds patterns. It learns rules. This is how it makes future decisions. But here's a cosmic wrinkle. The data we feed AI comes from us, from our world, full of human history. And humans, we have biases, unconscious ones. These biases can seep into the data like invisible ink on textbook pages. The AI doesn't know it's there, it just learns what it is shown. So what happens with biased data? The AI learns these biases as facts. AI systems are hungry for data. The more data they have, the smarter they get. They thrive on vast amounts of information, constantly learning and evolving. They can collect information about us. Every interaction, every click, every digital footprint we leave behind, from our online clicks to our faces, our preferences, our habits, even our emotions. This data helps AI personalize services, tailoring experiences to our unique tastes and needs, like recommending movies you might like, or suggesting music that fits your mood, or showing you relevant news articles, keeping you informed about topics you care about. But this power raises privacy alarms. The more data collected, the greater the risk. Our personal information is valuable. It can be used to understand us deeply. It tells a story about who we are, our likes, dislikes, and even our future actions. What we like, where we go, what we do, our entire digital life mapped out. When AI collects so much, we must ask, who is watching this information, and for what purpose? How is it being protected from misuse? Ensuring our data remains secure is crucial. Consider AI used in schools, for monitoring, to keep an eye on students. Cameras with AI could watch students, observing their every move, they might track attendance or even behavior, analyzing patterns and predicting outcomes. The idea is often to improve safety, to create a secure environment for learning, to create a better learning environment, one where students can thrive, but think about the implications here. The impact on privacy and freedom. Constant surveillance for young minds. How will it shape their future? AI is not just thinking, it's doing. It's transforming industries by taking over tasks that were once solely in the human domain. Many jobs humans do can be automated. This includes repetitive tasks and even some that require a degree of decision making. From factory work to customer service, AI is making its presence felt across various sectors. Even tasks requiring complex analysis and critical thinking are not immune to automation. This can make businesses more efficient, reducing costs and increasing productivity. AI can work 24-7 without tiring, without breaks, and without the need for sleep. But what does this mean for human workers? The implications are profound and far-reaching. It's a cosmic shift in our working lives, altering the very fabric of our daily routines. When AI takes over tasks, jobs change. The nature of work itself is evolving. Some jobs may disappear entirely, leaving gaps in the employment landscape. People build their lives around their work. Their identities are often tied to their professions. Losing a job to a machine is tough. It affects families. It affects communities. The ripple effects are significant. We need to think about this transition. It's crucial to plan for the future. How can we support those affected by it? What measures can we put in place? Companies that use AI have a role. They must consider the human impact, a responsibility to their workforce. They need to act responsibly. They can invest in retraining programs. These programs can help workers transition smoothly, helping workers learn new valuable skills, skills that will be relevant in the new job market. AI holds incredible universe-sized potential. It's a tool that can reshape our world in ways we can barely imagine. It can help us solve huge problems, bringing together the brightest minds to tackle the most pressing issues of our time. From climate change to curing diseases, AI has the potential to revolutionize our approach to these global challenges. It can unlock new scientific discoveries, pushing the boundaries of what we know and what we can achieve. But with great power, as we know, comes equally great responsibility. We must handle this power with care and foresight. 
We are the stewards of this new fire, tasked with guiding its development and ensuring it benefits all of humanity. We must guide its development wisely, making decisions that reflect our collective values and ethical standards. To do this, we need clear guidelines. These guidelines will serve as the foundation for ethical AI development. We need strong ethical frameworks for AI, frameworks that are robust and adaptable to future advancements. Think of them as traffic laws for AI, designed to keep the system running smoothly and safely. Rules to keep everyone safe on the road, ensuring that AI operates within boundaries that protect us all. These rules must address fairness directly, ensuring that AI systems are equitable and just. They must tackle bias in data head-on, preventing discrimination and promoting inclusivity, and they must protect our fundamental privacy, safeguarding our personal information from misuse. This isn't optional, it's essential now. Ethical AI is not a luxury but a necessity in our interconnected world. Good guidelines ensure AI is accountable, making sure that systems are reliable and trustworthy. If an AI system makes a harmful mistake, we need to know why it happened and have mechanisms in place to address it, and who is responsible for fixing it. Accountability is key to maintaining trust in AI systems. Transparency is absolutely vital here. We must ensure that AI operations are clear and understandable to all stakeholders.